Hello everybody, Don Master here. Got a really cool one for you today. We got a gear wrench tool haul. And that's right, I said gear wrench. Some stuff finally showed up. And uh, unfortunately, I had to rebuy some tools because I had some stuff. Quite a bit of good tools get stolen from me. I had a good home and basic home set. Not the sockets, but a nice rigid uh, sealed toolbox full of hand tools got stolen out of my truck. So I'm slowly replacing that stuff um, because it was tools that stay at home and in the car. Um, not stuff from work. And that includes, you know, metric wrenches and whatnot. And my set of ratcheting wrenches, they were SADA. They got stolen. So uh, I went ahead and bought some more stuff that I needed to replace those and uh, so yeah let's get into it so I picked up this tractor supply because it was normally $29.99 marked down to $21.99 so I thought that was a good deal um, that was also this guy was used to be $29.99 so these two I got from coast or tractor supply when I brought these up these were marked down to ten dollar or ten ninety nine, and a mini, uh, twelve piece mini screwdriver set, Torx and Phillips and flatheads, lifetime warranty. Pretty cool. Can't have enough little screwdrivers around, you know. So, anyways, it comes with a one and a half millimeter, a two millimeter, a two and a half millimeter, and it comes with those are flathead, and it comes with a zero double zero a zero and a number one phillips it comes with uh the torque sizes five six seven eight nine and ten and uh, let's see where this is made um apex tool group uh, made in taiwan that's always a plus so that's that. Part number on this guy is a 80057H. We're going to open all this stuff up and get a closer look at it so you guys can see. Um, I'm not obsessed with gear wrench or anything. I just think that for the money, it's a good, it's an okay option to go for, um, for professional use at, at work. I think it'll hold up. Um, and uh, for at home, mainly for me. I like their I like the gear wrench toolkits and stuff uh for keeping my car. You guys have seen the uh 100 piece socket set that I got at Home Depot, 3 8 and quarter drive. Just a nice perfect set to throw in the car, you know. You know, you need to change a battery out, help a buddy or whatever, you got everything you need, oil changes. Um that just doesn't come with wrenches or anything. And that's where uh someone ripped me off my little tool set that had all this kind of stuff in it. So enough rambling on this is the metric rescue extraction socket set i got from tractor supplies 87911 87911 and that comes with an 8 mil a 10 a 12 a 13 and a 14 or 9 16 it comes with two adapters quarter to quarter hex quarter hex to 3 8 square here's the specs on it removes rusted and rounded works with hand tools and power tools Enables reuse of damaged fasteners. So you can go on or off. Ten times longer life, impact life, and up to five times greater gripping force. Lifetime warranty. So these are pretty cool. And the bolt biters, I have the big set of bolt biters. It's like a six-piece set or five-piece set of the big ones for big lug nuts. I got on the real deals from uh, Napa a couple years ago. Uh, these are the small bolt biters. I'm trying to see where they're made. Made in China. So China on those. And then um, I ordered these from Home Depot over a week ago and finally I got them. Um, this is a 15 piece metric long pattern wrench set. Not ratcheting, just plain old wrenches. Um, the only other metric plane wrenches I have are the uh, Mac Precision Torx, and those stay at work. Um, 
I have them up to a 19 millimeter and then I have the big five piece set up to 32 and then a 20 to 25 millimeter snap on for work. But other than that, my metric stuff at home was that SATA set I had and they got stolen. So I was thinking about getting the blue point regular combination wrenches, but they're overpriced for what they are. You know, for made in China wrenches, they're $300 and they only go to 19 millimeters. So I looked around on Home Depot's website. They got some good deals, sometimes better than Amazon, in my opinion. But Gear Wrench, this is a good, nice, complete set. So 15 piece set, and it goes past 19. It goes to 20, 21, and a 22, down to eight millimeter. So it starts low, goes all the way up high. And this was a hundred bucks. To me, that's a good deal uh, for 15 wrenches. Um, but yeah, these are nice. They don't have the new gear wrench logo. They're the old the actual wrenches have the old style on it. I like it. So yeah, hundred bucks for these, not bad. I looked at the reviews on it and I liked it. They have a bigger set that goes to like 32 millimeter, but for at home, I don't need that. Um, I was gonna get a set that went to 19 millimeter, but for a little bit more, it's nice to have three more bigger wrenches in there. Um, these have the off corner loading design, reduces fastener rounding, 15 degree offset box end, and then it comes with this pretty durable wrench rack um, and there's the sizes, you know, eight all the way up to 22, no skips. And these are 12 point. Um, I was looking at, they had six point wrenches too, but I'm not a fan of six point. Um, I do come across 12 point stuff and this works on six or 12 point. And to me, it's, it's faster to get these on the fastener than a six point wrench. But I know the six point ones are probably a little bit stronger, but I've always used 12 point wrenches. I've never really had a problem. So yeah, the part number for this is a 81902 gear wrench. And then talks about it a little bit. And these are made in China. But all the reviews and stuff online, most people said that they're good. Never had any issues with them. So I know their new rafting wrenches can be kind of hit or miss on the cheaper ones, but I figured regular wrenches you can't go wrong with. And I'm not going to spend three times the price for a blue point set off the snap-on truck. That only goes to 19. Although, those blue point regular wrenches, they're actually really nice looking for a China wrench or Taiwan. Maybe they're Taiwan. My coworker has the set that goes to 19 millimeter in blue point. He got on promo for 200 bucks a couple years ago. And he really likes them. I, he's let me look at them and... They're really thick and everything, but I just can't justify spending over $300 on on a 13-piece uh, wrench set or 12-piece wrench set that's not made in USA. So those would be nice to use around the house, working on the car. Shoot, I think I might just try them out tonight. I got to do an oil change on my Toyota and uh, do it the old-fashioned way, you know, no socket and ratchet, just bust out the old wrench. 14 millimeter lastly probably going to be the most useful tool that i really needed for work this is the one tool that's going to work for sure 12 piece metric flex socket set and it's quarter drive set and uh it's covered up here this stupid barcode bull crap uh six point right goes down real small Quarter drive, chromies. I never thought, you know, uh, I really don't need the chrome universals anymore. I can just get away with metric. But man, when you're working in tight spots, those quarter drive impact universals, sometimes they don't cut it. They're too bulky. Even my snap-on ones, my snap-on impacts universals, those metric and SA ones, even the small ones, you know, you get in there and they're too thick. So I have to borrow my buddy's Astro pneumatics at work. He's got a chrome set of these that he got on Amazon for about 40 or 50 bucks he said a year ago and he he lets me borrow his for getting in there 12 millimeter bolts a lot on them chevys and getting into tight places they work great so i'm like i'm gonna pick me up a set i didn't want to go with astro um seen all these sets on amazon for like 30 bucks i'm like i, I want to spend a little bit more money than that and get something a little bit better 
and I feel like uh, the gear wrenches were good. They had a really good reviews. Every review was pretty much good, you know. Um, these this is a big set too. So this goes from five millimeter all the way to fifteen millimeter, no skips, and it includes the five and a half. And uh, so you guys will be amazed. So just for shits and giggles, I on Friday or well, two Fridays ago when Snap On was last at my work, I asked him, "Hey, what's a what's your twelve piece or whatever?" I don't know if it's a 12 piece um, Chrome Universals like this, but Snap on USA because um, he had a set on his truck. And I was like, oh, maybe I'll get them. We'll see how much they are. And he's like, You want to guess? He just looked them up. I'm like, 400. He's like, Nope. I'm like, 500. He's like, Nope. I'm like, Up or down? He's like, Keep going up. I'm like, Over 500? 680 is what he told me. $680 for a quarter drive Chrome flex socket set like this $680 that's 700 bucks after tax probably and I just couldn't believe it you know co-worker had the same set and he bought it probably four or five years ago and he's like there's no way I paid that for him he said he paid maybe four or five hundred bucks but even that he said he doesn't remember paying 500 bucks but they're $680 no thank you and my dealer's like, yeah, that's it is crazy price. He's like, he couldn't believe it, but well, lifetime warranty, and it's a it's a socket that you're gonna break probably. But I'm like, Ugh, I'll take the chance with this gear wrench set for eighty. I'd rather spend eighty bucks than a million. So this is the uh, yeah the eighty three one one and uh, nice little kit. Um, uh, professional full polish chrome um, entry angle guides fastener uh, flex socket design um, large hard stamped identification that's one thing I like about it universal flex socket design provides access unattainable with standard sockets and where were these made this set better be made in Taiwan Made in Taiwan. While their sockets are Taiwan. Anyway, I wonder which one we should open up first. Um, let's just go with these. Since I'm pretty excited about these. I'm going to get these opened up and let's take. we're going to take a quick look at them. Alright. Here's the Universal Sockets quarter drive. Really nice chrome finish on them. Super nice, all the way down to that five millimeter. Um, man, these come so handy, these little ones. And for the price, I thought it was worth it. Um, so yeah, let's look at a 13. So here's a 13, and they got part number on there, and this is all stamped real nice. Gear wrench. Um, these don't have the screws, they're pins. And they seem very nice. At least this one does. And um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm happy about it. Happy I picked these up because I've been really needing them. When you borrow your coworkers more than three times in a month or two, it's time to get your own. That's the way I look at it. So, there's a 15. If I can get it off of there. There we go. There's a 15. Just trying to make sure they're all good. Really nice. Good quality. Happy I got these. They're going to, I'll get my, they'll pay for themselves here pretty soon. For how many freaking Duramaxes I work on, man, they just seem to be breaking down a lot lately. And Fords. Um, so yeah, there they are. And the 10 millimeter on all these brands, they're always so flush looking. 
they don't have any taper to them because it seems like 10 millimeters that quarter drive size externally see what i mean it's just straight compared to like all the other ones they're either narrowed down or slimmed up because the actual shank or the whole body is like a 10 millimeter in my eyes so yeah that's the 10 gear wrench gear wrench 10 millimeter so yeah let me let me know what you guys think if any of you guys have ever owned this brand for flex sockets for chromes i have the uh 3h drive gear wrench flex sockets but they're uh, impact and they go from a 10 millimeter to a 19 3h drive and uh I got them on Prime Days for like 50 or 60 bucks. You know, it's it's good prices. I'm sure I could have bought a cheaper brand like Astro or Crescent or one of those other brands. But, you know, this is for something at work. And I want it to hold up a little bit better than a $20 sock, socket set. So that's those. Let's open up these gear wrench wrench set. Long pattern. Now, I'm a fan of the long pattern. You just get a little bit extra leverage. Sometimes the short ones are just, aren't really, uh, I mean, the short ones come handy, but if I had to choose, I'd rather have the long ones because uh, sometimes that length really saves your ass getting down into a tight spot and when you need leverage. So, might as well just open these up with you guys since pretty easy on these um so yeah i was really happy it came on a, on a rail already so that's one thing i don't have to buy i you know i might put these on some sort of different rail later but since they're going to be at home in my uh, tool bag or my little tool tote in the car i'm not really worried about how fancy the rack is um pop the 22 out here wow those are Okay, those are pretty tight. There we go. So here's the 22. And, um, they do have that off corner loading right there. And it does work well. I have some gear wrench. I have an inch and a half size. Big old boy. I bought CarQuest that's in my work toolbox. It's got this off corner loading. These have just a step in there. And that's all you really need to help. Um, the chroming seems really nice, in my opinion. Um, nice finish. And then on the other side, you got same thing, the logo, and then the part number. Um, so that's the 22. So to take these wrenches out, you turn them. So you can't take them out like this. That's kind of cool. But if you t tilt it, so tilt, then they come out. That's kind of cool. Um, maybe I'm wrong. Anyway, let me get all this. All right. But yeah, this is a nice set of wrenches gear wrench so here's the 8 mil you know what I think the 8 mil millimeter wrench is bent or, is, or am I crazy let me guys, let, let me know what you guys think is this 8 mil bent because I feel like it should be more true I'm going to pop that out Maybe just the eight millimeter just has a different profile to it, but that definitely looks different. This little eight millimeter is kind of odd looking. Um, here's the nine. See the nine and the 10 and so on. They don't have as aggressive of a bend to them. 
but this eight is just like crazy. I don't know, whatever. Here's the 10. The 10 looks okay. This end, these ends almost don't look deep enough. I don't know. I'm sure they're fine, but um, I feel like a 10 mil is supposed to be a little bit, maybe not. I'm probably just overthinking. Um, these smaller sizes just are kind of odd to me. I don't know, but I'm, I'm sure they'll be okay. Let's go up to a 19. So you pull them Tilt them forward. Man, this rack is really durable. Oh man, I can't get that out of there with one hand. All right, let's pull the 14 out since I'm gonna be using it tonight, doing my oil change. Yeah, this rack might have to go in the trash, guys, because I don't like it. This is too much work to get a freaking wrench out. There we go. Yeah, it's going in the garbage. All right, 14 mil. Looks nice. I'm happy with it. So, nice complete set here. Um, a little confused about the uh, bend on that 8 millimeter, but... Maybe it's just how how it is with this smaller wrench. I don't know. But like the, uh, the 10 mil or the 9 mil and this one, they don't have that kind of bend to them. Very interesting. Packaging wasn't damaged or anything, as far as I could see. So, anyway, you know, I'm real picky. But, you know, I expect the uh, product to... Be decent and not a complete pile, you know. I don't know. Anyway, this video is starting to get a little too long. Um, I try not to go too far over 10, 12 minutes, but this is a big haul, fairly big haul. So we did the wrenches. We got the chrome stuff done. Um, let's take a look at these. I'm actually not going to take these out because it's just too long of a video, and you can see them through this clear deal. But these are just the uh, bolt biters. No big deal. But I really wanted to get these guys open. So let me let me pop these open for you guys. And we'll take a look at them and see how big they are in the hand. So give me a sec here and I'll get them out. Alright guys, so it comes in this cheap zip-up case. And uh, they just come in here like this. You can just pop them out. And uh, I'm going to be throwing this case out. It's pretty cheap. But here's uh, one of the torques. This is a little guy, smallest one. And uh, nice thing is they have spinny top heads of the screwdriver. So this actually rotates. So you can put that in the palm of your hand and like so. And you can spin it easier. So th that's nice. These are all the torques. Okay. And these are your screwdrivers, your flatheads, your three smalls, and your three uh, small Phillips. Um, here's a number one Phillips. You know, they're pretty decent. They're normally 30 bucks, and I got them for 10 so you can't beat that. And they feel pretty good. They have a nice grip to them, nice, nice feel. Um, black oxide coated on the ends. Probably hold up a little bit better durability. Um, so yeah, that's, that's it, guys. That's, that's the haul. And, uh, if you have any questions about this, or uh, part numbers. I'm pretty sure I gave you all the part numbers, but let me know what you guys think. If you guys have owned any of these kits, and uh, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, share, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Have a good night.